Africa, where the first civilization lived. But the refugees carried the memories of the earth-moving equipment, the astronomy, the metallurgy, the writing, the architecture, the energy generation, the aircraft, the weaponry of the uh, Nibirans. They didn't know how to make it, but uh, the wise people of the Zulu nation have, uh, have all recounted these tales from their ancestors. So, Janice, you're... Well, okay, I just wanted to interject. I, I, mm -hmm. I, while you were talking about 70,000 years ago, I just I kind of Googled what happened 70,000 years ago, and there's an article that came up, how human beings almost vanished from the Earth 70,000 B.C. So there's something, I'll have to research this later, but there's some correlation with what uh, Tellinger was saying. Yeah. Yeah, so that's great. So, yeah. So Adapa, Anki's smart, smart son, he was he bossed the earthlings. Adapa and Tia. Oh no, we 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 got we, we've got to uh, t t take. Uh, we seem to have skipped something in the okay, story here. Okay, wait, let's go back. Yeah. So, uh, what we skipped is the fact that uh, the kind of um, humans, the er Homo erectus. Homo sapien humans that were working the mines were up level leveled by Enki. When uh, uh, um, Enlil was demanding uh, less slaves and smarter ones, and so Enki uh, started making it with the, the pretty girls, and then with their daughters, and their daughters, prettiest daughters, and so forth. And pretty soon, uh, he was uh, creating this whole race of super, super. Uh, enhanced he thought uh, human beings and the first one that he did um, was his kid Adapa and this is this is who the today's story is about um, he, they had a, a, a girl uh, TT and uh, Domkina and uh, Nima both, both really liked TT and taught her all kinds of women things but Enki just doted on Adapa so this is the second coming <laughs> so to speak Enki has created this son and he decides he's going to tutor him he's going to give him all the knowledge and just see how how smart can this guy get and uh, so now Janet will take on the, the rest of the story from here okay <laughs> so now we're going to talk about Adapa Enki's smart son who bossed earthlings so Adapa and Titi Enki's son and daughter made it and Titi bore the twins, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel. Yeah, we will, we will have another story about them next right. time. We'll talk about Cain and Abel down the line. The first Adapaite humans. They're humans. called Adapites. Adapites, yeah. And this is in kind, so the descendants of Adapa, this is the special son of Enki, are called the Adapites. The descendants of the, of the earlier human, Adam, are called the Adamites. So these are humans with far more uh, Anunnaki DNA yeah. due to Enki's genetic infusion, which he literally the second round, or the first, yeah, he made it. He kept mating with human females. Successive generations. Successive generations. And so, anyway, there's a whole story on uh, eventually, well, you had blue eyes. Because <laughs> he just continued mating. Originally, they were dark eyes, and uh, then the variations started coming about. So that's another story. The Beeran genes relative to Erectus, um, yeah, his, his genetic infusion with uh, creating Nibirian genes, more Nibirian genes relative to Erectus genes than their mothers. The yeah. Adamite girls, Enki, impregnated. So Enki was having a lot of fun. Enki schooled his... Um, clandestine son Adapa. He ordered Adapa to teach his descendants. Slow down, honey. He ordered Adapa to teach his descendants, the enhanced earthlings, to run farms and to, um, to have herds and create estates. And Enki brought more earthlings from Africa to Sumer for Adapa to train for the mission bosses' homes and facilities. So they started to create a whole civilization, a whole yeah, yeah. global system. And they brought them up to uh, Mesopotamia. They brought them up to Mesopotamia. So Adapa worked and studied and pondered. He learned the Mirans ate the bread of life and drank the water of life to live hundreds of thousands of years. So these are secrets to um, 
to immortality. That's right. He 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 he. Well, it looked like immortality to Adapa because, right. but but we don't know that it was really just extreme longevity or not. But he could see that they were they were uh, drinking this stuff and eating this stuff, and they were living thousands of years. Yeah. So without these substances, he died in, in a mere thousand thousand of years. So even back then, human beings lived hundreds if not thousands of years. But he, he begged Enki for that for the bread and water, um, secret elixir for Im or immortality. He wanted to become immortal too, or at least having the life expectancies of uh, the Anana. Mm -hmm. So Dapa was a busy body, body in charge of the services for which the primitive workers were brought over to the Eden. He supervised bakers, assured water supplies, oversaw fishing for Erdu and tended offerings. Yeah, I understand. This guy ran everything for Enki. All, all the the, the uh, coordination. He became like the CEO, for, and Enki just sort of let him go and let him do it. He was so smart. So Enki used a device that changed the, and reversed the wind that blew down the Persian Gulf to a, to blow Adapa north in a sailboat. Boat, or he sent Adapa in a rocket. What was going on there? Enki okay, so what, what happened is is uh, Enki uh, knew how because of the, the arrays that he had of uh, energy stored in capacitors, he was able to create, uh, like we do with harp, bounce signals off the ionosphere. And what he did was he um, changed the wind and blew Adapa in the direction on a sailboat in the direction he wanted him to go. And uh, this is a technology that Enki had not shared with Enlil. And it seemed like Adapa was in on this. And a, so a spy sees uh, of Enlil's, and he's blowing uh, uh, up from Africa, he's blowing up toward Mesopotamia, up the Persian Gulf, or up, up, the, up the Red Sea. And, uh, like a spy told Enlil he saw Adapa speeding north. Is yeah, that what you're saying? That's yeah. right. Okay. To the north toward Mesopotamia. Towards Mesopotamia. So. Okay. So. so here the story continues. Okay. We're going to read some from the book at all. No, no, we're going to, we're going to get to the book, honey. Okay, we'll get to the book. Go ahead, Dick. On Nibiru, and King Anu basically is, is going to uh, say no to Adapa's immora immortality. Enlil beamed Anu on Nibiru. Enki changed Gulf weather to blow Adapa south. That's what he said. Anu sent his vizier, Iabrat, Ilabrat, to earth to go get Adapa. Enki gave Ilabrat Adapa and sent his uh, his two unmarried earthborn sons, Nigashita, who'd helped him with uh, the genetics, and Dumuzi, his younger son, uh, with Adapa, and he sent them all to meet the uh, grandfather, Anu, and perhaps even find Nibiru brides there, and, and we're going to go read that in detail in the book. On Nibiru, King Anu asked Adapa, why did Enki change the wind, and how come he sent you uh, the direction you were going on, on the uh, gulf? Ningashita slipped onto a sealed tablet from Enki. Enki's tablet said he wanted Adapted to breed more enhanced earthlings, but he confessed that he was the father of Adapa and of Titi, and he had them with earthlings, and they were all these are the, with earthlings that had already descended from. Uh, Adamu and Tiamat. And was he here? He told the truth. Ningashita already knew that from Adapa's DNA. He already figured out that Enki uh, was the father of Adapa and Titi. Enki asked Anu, and this is really important, to send Adapa back to begat more hybrids uh, and make more civilized humans. But don't give him, Enki said, food the, or elixir, the ones that the uh, bread of life and the mana from heavens, the water of life, that would lengthen their lives. So the earthlings that were descended from both uh, Adam and Adapa, An Anu Nu, descended from him, from Anu as well. Anki and Ningashita, that's Anu's son and his uh, son's son, via their seed has, pa has passed Anu's genes to all, all of us earthlings too. And this is mixed with DNA erectus. We are an illegal, as far as they were concerned, but civilized species, and we all have the genes of Anu. Now, Enki wanted to deny Earthlings the uh, seemingly eternal lifespan that the Nibirans had. 
Yeah, that's a mystery. And so, and, and this is part of why we are now, we understand, uh, from uh, Alfred Weber, quarantined on Earth. Can we talk about that just a second before we go on sure. to the next thing? Okay. We're almost... The, okay, you finish this, and then we'll talk okay. About just, so, so I'm just going to finish this, and then, um, and then uh, I'm going to give you the mic for just a minute. So uh, uh, Ningashita basically took Adapa plus seeds back to Earth. Anu gave Ningashita grain seeds and told him to take them and to take Adapa back to Earth. Um, he, uh, and and he, his instructions were: Adapa is to learn to teach, uh, and with Enki, teach all the teachers of human beings. And so they had Nibiru, he had Demuzi stay back to learn animal husbandry. And uh, before Janet, before we read uh, from the book, uh, Janet has a few words. Hi. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break. we're back <laughs> that was dig that hole by you are a hologram 
uh, quite an appropriate song because uh, our our ancestors were digging that hole down in the mines, and I, I kind of picked that randomly. And I. And I